To maximize power, RF power amplifiers for wireless communications must have fast turn on and turn off switching times. But those fast transients can introduce effects into the RF signal and uh, deteriorate the preamble of the packet and consequently the modulation accuracy of the signal. In today's demo, we're going to look at how simple it is to do dynamic EVM measurements of wideband signals by taking advantage of the NIRFIC test software. Here in my setup, I have a vector signal transceiver that is providing a stimulus signal, our Wi-Fi 7 320 megahertz wide 4096 qam signal to our uh, amplifier under test that we have here. Then uh, we also have the vector signal analyzer taking the signal from the device under test and doing all the measurements. Also, we have a source measure unit that's providing power to the device so that we can uh, bias the amplifier and turn it on. And we're going to capture the trace of the PA enable line with the scope. To trigger this uh, amplifier, to turn it on and off, I'm going to use the digital line PFI0 from the VST. And that's going to be providing the voltage level to turn on or off the device under test. Here in my software, I have uh, the RFIC application and I can configure the specific hardware that I'm going to use, which VST and the specific settings for each one, uh, path losses and what SMU channels I'm going to use. I can also configure the type of waveform that we're going to work with. In this case, it's uh, the Wi-Fi 802.11BE signal uh, operating at 320 megahertz. And for DUT control, we're going to use dynamic EVM. So I select the mode, which will be dynamic. I'm going to use the PFI0 line, and then I'm going to select whether I want to use the timing embedded in the waveform with zero wait time between uh, when the PFI line goes high and when the RF burst starts, or if I want to modify that timing. In this case, let me change this to about one microsecond. So the digital line is going to go high one microsecond before the RF burst begins. Then we take the measurements and 100 microseconds later, as indicated by T2, that line goes low. After that, there's going to be an idle period so that we can have a 50% duty cycle. So once all, is, uh, once all that is configured, I can turn on the amplifier and run my measurement. There we have it. So we have our 320 megahertz wide signal. We have captured a uh, 4096 point constellation here and we have run a number of measurements on it. All this with the uh, signal being captured during the on a period of the PFI line which we can see here with our scope. So we have captured that um, enable line here. With just a few settings, we were able to do this dynamic EVM measurement, taking advantage of the integrated PXI validation bench for RF amplifiers without having to write a single line of code. So it's a really simple process to help you with your validation workflow. To learn more how we can help you improve that validation workflow and do more dynamic EVM measurements, please visit ni.com slash semiconductor or talk to your local account manager. Thanks for watching.